welcome back to my channel this is honey from honey style okay friends uh, now uh, in this video i'm going to do the analysis of my grandmother's house in english because there are some students who speak sinhala and they cannot understand the thing which has uploaded in tamil uh, that's why i would like to do this kind of works anyhow i think this is very useful to other people also who speak various languages okay that's why i chose this way to explain so now we are going to uh, move on to the analysis initially i'm going to do a small introduction on the poem and the poet okay let's see my grandmother's house is a nostalgic poem written by kamala das so it is a short poem its meaning is vast and wide the undercurrent of the poem is kamala das childhood life with her grandmother where she felt more love and peace than she enjoys in her present life yes obviously the poem my grandmother's house has only 16 lines very short poem the opening line tells the readers about her grandmother's house where she lived when she was very young okay now let's go through the analysis the starting line is there is a house now far away where once i received love that house is far away from the poet's new house she lives now in sofa okay in that house she enjoyed much love and pleasure Kamala Das was too young to remember those happy moments still she recollects her experiences so through these lines you can get these things okay that woman died unfortunately those happy life didn't last for long the death took her lovely grandmother to heaven so that is the meaning of that line okay and the house withdrew into silence in the third line it's clear that the grandmother was only the source entire happiness of that house as the whole house withdrew into silence snakes moved among books i was then too young to read and my blood turned cold like the moon kamalanas was very young girl in that time she spent her days with her grandmother therefore she was not able to read those books because she was very young she couldn't read after grandmother was gone to heaven the books in the library of that house left unread because there were no one to read those books therefore a snake started to move among the book stacks seeing this little kamala das fell fear and her grandmother's death froze on her and turned her blood cold like the moon okay so here uh, they uses simile to show the comparison how often i think of going they are to peer through blind eyes of windows or just listen to the frozen air after grandmother's death she moved to another house okay but still she likes to visit that old house where she enjoyed much freedom and unlimited love she thinks of going there and to peer through the window of that house and listen uh, to the frozen air there it means she wants she likes to go there because uh, she wants to take all the love that she could get from the from her grandmother peer through means look through okay looking into poet used the phrase blind eyes means the house is filled with the darkness and nothing inside the house is clear to her eyes okay the frozen air here is used to mention the unmoved 
air filled in the house because of no inhabitants okay so the house withdrew into silence and also the house full of darkness and frozen air okay did you understand next owing one despair pick an armful of darkness to bring it here to light behind my bedroom door like a brooding dog poet says is in uh, poet uh, says that she is in despair okay she lost all the hopes thus she wishes at least to bring her grandmother's house memory to her bedroom by picking some frozen darkness from her grandmother's house and to keep it behind her bedroom door like a brooding dog it means uh, at least she wants to bring some uh, darkness armful of darkness to remember those past life here brooding dog means thinking dog the next lines are you cannot believe darling can you that i lived in a such a house and was proud and loved here poetess addresses her husband calling darling and says he could not believe she lived in a such a house where she was proud loved and honored so uh, she is addressing that she had lots of uh, love and fun and honored from that her grand her grandmother's house in the next line she compares her childhood experiences with the present world human nature those lines are i who have lost my way and beg now at strangers doors to receive love at least in small change so she had enjoyed the love in her past life she lost them all in the present era it means uh, she had given all of the love by his by her grandmother but now she lost all the happiness and all the love and now she has to beg at the doors of strangers for love nobody is ready to honor consider and love each other she would be happy if she could get at least a small amount of love now she uh, she is asking that only thing is a small amount of love that is the only need of her life and the conclusion is in the poem the image of ancestral home stands for the strong support and unconditional love she received from her grandmother the imagery is personal and beautifully articulates her plight in a loveless marriage thus the old house was for her a place of symbolic retreat to a world of innocence purity and simplicity an edenic world where love and happiness are still possible this is the conclusion of the poem the poet lost in a loveless world so uh, she remembers her grandmother who gave her love and the affection so this is the main thing of this poem okay the poem is a symbolic expression of her past uh, which is a tragic contrast to her present situation it is forcefully moving poem filled with nostalgia and anguish so this is the analysis of the poem my grandmother's house